because I've been having these wonderful conversations with some really wonderful people about business and the things that how we need to propel ourselves forward. But I'm just going to tell you about a story I had today. My pastor, I think he'd be all up in um, my thoughts all the time <laughs> because, you know, I have a branding and launching business. And the one thing that I always featured when I think of branding and launching is the rocket <laughs> because the rocket does what? It takes off. And when I tell you when it takes off, just like he said today, it takes off with a vengeance. You use the most energy when you take off. So why don't you just go ahead and take off brand and launch if you have a great idea and you need some support to make that happen then i'm your girl but you gotta get moving you have to let you have to let your left know what your right is doing in terms of making things happen for yourself and your family look i'm not starving no more my family ain't starving no more my children my children gonna have wealth my children's children are going to have wealth because that's what it's all about. If we're going to do something, we need to do it and do it well. Whatever that is, do it and do it well. So here's what I'm, I'm, I'm talking about today. As he began to preach this word, and I tell you, it was, it was just fire. It was fire to me because I believe it. Because I'm a wholehearted believer that if you continue your faith, and I'm telling you, you can work at it and work at it and work at it. And sometimes it may feel like it just is not going to work. You may have even said to yourself, um, self, I don't want to do this anymore, right? I, I can't tell you the countless times I have said that, but I'm still here. I have... I have implemented and developed program at the program at the program at the program at the program. I'm still in the game. Now, here's the thing. God wants us to have that financial wealth. He wants us to have the abundant harvest. He wants us to, to live. He's thrive and not just survive. He wants us to, to be the head and not the tail, the lender and not the borrower. He wants us to have all of those great things. So as my pastor progressed today, Pastor Damian Royal, by the way, Philippi Church of Christ, Disciples of Christ, I would be remiss without mentioning him. And we began to, he began to preach from Luke. I want to say, I don't want to get it wrong, but maybe I'll just post it up here so I'll get it right. Anyway, I know you know the story about Peter and where Jesus went on the boat and he had the conversation and the disciples began to listen because, you know, what he was saying was real and true and fact for them. And then, but they still had that doubt, right? Because they've been working all this time. They've been working fishermen. You know, this is their livelihood. This is what they do. This, this is what they do. So they get to this point where they discourage. Look, I've been out here all night, man. I am. I'm just done. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. I, I, I can't do this no more. But Jesus, he had. He 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 promised them. He, he he promised us. He promised all of us, right? And he asked them. He said, "Have faith. Cast your net again, right?" And sometimes we have to cast our nets again, again, and again. And guess what's going to happen one of them days? You're going to trip up. All it takes is one cast. All it takes is one casting. When you cast that net, one of them days, when you cast that net, because you are a believer of great faith, because you are a believer of great faith, one day when you cast that net, you are going to reap a harvest that your arms are not big enough to receive. The fish going to come from everywhere. They going to jump in your net. <laughs> they going to want your business, right? But you got to be prepared for what's to come when you begin. And that's what branding and launching is all about. But if you don't know how to do branding and launching yourself, then you have to invest in yourself. You have to invest in your idea. Sometimes all it takes is just look, just a few bucks, just a one class. Just um, if you can't do it, then outsource it to somebody else. But at least you're on the map. At least you're going. Or better yet, get yourself a coach. Get yourself a mentor. Somebody who can align your vision up perfectly 
and won't change or alter the plans of God because they're looking at your ideal dream and helping you to get there with the, with the most energy that you can get as you begin to send your rocket into the, into the sphere. So <laughs> I encourage someone out there today. I encourage you that if you have an idea and it's been burning on the inside of you or not, but you know you can live out this dream. You can live out the expectations that God has for you. Or you don't want to continue to be on this job where um, you have to find the salary that they give you as some acceptable norm. Or you're not being paid what you worth and you didn't um, went to school and you have achieved all of these degrees and yet... <clears throat> They want to throw you a bone. So here's my thing. You don't have to settle for that. You don't have to settle, but you do have to be consistent. Consistency is key. That's one of the things that I teach my students over in Clients Everywhere, Find Your Client. If you are not consistently sending your message out there into the hemisphere after you have branded and you have launched, then you, but then you will not maintain or reap the harvest as it is supposed to be given unto you. But that requires first understanding what your purpose is. Branding your purpose in a way that you understand your brand. That you're able to deliver the conversation that needs to be delivered. That you can deliver in a way that people can receive it. You have to be um, not afraid to um, make the necessary moves that's going to help you to reap your harvest. Oh, I didn't tell you. My name is Dr. Eve Angel Savage. I am your angel investment coach over at Audacity Group Social Enterprise. And we help individuals to identify, initiate, and implement strategies for distinction in business from an angel investment perspective. Yes, that's what I said. So what we do over at Audacity, we don't just brand and launch. And we don't just teach you to find your clients or how to blog or how to um, develop a nonprofit or how to do, um, you know, the many multitude of things that we do in our classrooms or in over at the Institute. We don't just do those things. What we do is align you to be found, align you to be ready for when the recession ends, align you so that you can get that walk into that bank with authenticity and get that loan. If your credit's good, of course, we can align you with investors in your backyard who want to invest in you. We can help you get found by investors, but you got to put in the work. So that means that if you don't already have someone who can empower you in terms of your business and in terms of branding your business and your concept, your idea, then you need to you need to invest. That is an investment that you will never regret because a, a coach can help you get to your next level. And we do that through action plans. We do that through uh, means that are going to you accountability because people can have coaches, but they don't hold you accountable for it. Then all you're doing is paying them, right? So let me help you understand that you don't have to sit on your idea anymore. You don't have to settle for less. And yes, if you've been working and you have not yet increased in profitability, keep casting your net. If you have a <coughs> idea and a soft startup, <coughs> we're your people. Come on over. Let us help you start the way you need to start. Finish. Begin with the end in mind, right? Sean Covey, anybody know about him? Well, that's what we do. We begin with the end in mind. We also help you to map out your, con use a concept map and help you to understand where your financial arms is. There's so many arms to a business. I started out with um, an inter this enterprise just doing coaching and just doing, um, you know, academic uh, advising and things like that. But it turned into an enterprise. It turned into an institute where I'm now teaching classes because what I live these things as a business owner, when you have lived or experienced something that makes makes you an authority in that area because you can then share or keep people from going down the path that you went down that cost you so much time, energy and money. So it alleviates those extra steps when you go through 
um, a per an individual who has already lived the experience, who has already eliminated all the extra steps so that you can um, thrive in a way that um, improves and increases, increases your profitability. Another thing is, um, at the Institute, we don't just teach the class. The goal is for you to gain something from the class. And when I say gain something from the class, just like I was sharing with my, um, my, my son from another mother yesterday, how he has positioned himself. He did his own paperwork. Now, if you don't want to do your own paperwork, we do that too now. We outsource. But, but you, should, you should be participating in your process. So, because nobody is going to know your business better than you do. And the only way you could be your best PR is you have to participate in your process. So, no, I don't, I don't suggest people walk this thing out by themselves. I, I suggest that you have somebody that you can bounce ideas off of, begin to network and understand your lead generations and follow the lead. And, you know, all these great things. I got some great books that are hitting the market, you know, clients everywhere, find your client. I have a uh, following lead, understanding lead generation. Um, of course, my professional books that's on market called Facilitator, per Facilitator Perceptions of Mobile HS. Um, in support, social support for addiction relapse prevention. That's my area of specialty in terms of social and community services. But I developed these programs because I realized all of these hangups and habits and problems that people had existed because they did not have the support that they needed to move forward in life. Somebody who literally says, okay, I've been where you are. But you don't have to stay there because I didn't stay there. You know, God allows things to happen in our lives. But generally, nine times out of ten, he uses that very same ugly something to create something beautiful. So here, that's my thing to you today. He, he will take your mess and make it your test. He will make it your testimony. That's just the bottom line. It's my testimony today. I can't tell you how many uglies I've had in life. I've had a lot of uglies in life, but that's okay. I'm not where I've been and I'm not who I was yesterday. So in spite of all my naysayers out there, I know who I am in Christ and I am more than a conqueror. And God said that I'm beautifully and wonderfully made. There was a time when I couldn't get in front of this camera. I couldn't share with you the way that I'm sharing with you authentically and from my heart but today I am better because I'm able to testify I'm able to give my testimony to millions of people out there I don't know how far this video is gonna go but however far God will allow it to go my name is Dr. Eve Angel Savage over at Audacity Group Social Enterprise and I am more than a conqueror let us help you be your very best self let us help you find your clients clients everywhere find your client let us help you learn how to find your leads in business let us help you develop your plan let us help you branch and launch this is i mean these are things that god gave to me these were ways that he gave to me to and allowed me to 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 reap revenues i mean i cannot tell you what when, when this thing fully comes and maximizes family won't want for nothing they won't want, they won't want for nothing when it fully maximizes itself, because I understand my financial arms. I understand that I'm a book writer. I understand that I'm an author. Well, same thing. I understand that I am a course developer. I understand that I'm a provost of an institute. I understand that I can reach millions of people because I'm global. I understand that I'm a great coach because what I've been there and because I'm able to give you my very best self. I'm able to offer you all these classes. I'm able to advise academically. I'm able to be a community leader and assess your needs and come together with some type of program that's going to help my community grow economically. I know these are the paths that God has given to me. He has opened and taken the blinders off these eyes so that I can see my financial, uh, see the financial wealth that he has for me. What I now have to do is make it work, work it, work it, work it. And that's what you have to do. God will allow you to see these things too, but you need to get up under some good leadership. Get yourself up under some good leadership and get away from the riffraff. Get away from all those things that tell you, keep reminding you of what you used to be. Get in front, get, come into them circles where you're only, when you, you don't need no Debbie Downers in your life. 
Let the Debbie Downers, they, 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 they need to be by themselves. I, I don't tolerate the nonsense when it comes to that. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear how you allowing people to affect your self-esteem. I don't want to hear any of that because I feel like this. I used to be bullied. I used to be affected by the things that people um, people used to say to me, say about me, tease me about as a young child. Even my family was my own worst critics, but that's okay because guess what? My name is, guess what? My name is, guess what? My name is, yes. Dr. Evangel Savage, and I'm better for having known God today because he is my provider. He is the one who made those things happen for me. He is the one who gave me the esteem that I had. He has, he has been my influencer. No, no man he has been my influence. Now, have I been able to glean from other people? Yes. If you don't get in some circles, if you're the smartest person in your circle, you better go find you another circle. Go find you another circle because that circle ain't going to work no more. That circle is only going to keep you right where you are. It's going to keep you losing. Losing. Yes. Okay, you heard it from me. That's enough of my rap today. Motivation to you on this great Sunday. Luke, cast your net and watch those fish jump. Don't give up on casting your net. Peter said okay. I'm going to do it one more time. And he had so many fish that he had to ask the other people to come on. It was more than enough, right? It was more than enough. And he could give them, come on, my partners. Come on, because I'm going to need some help catching all these fish, right? Catch your fish today. This is Dr. Eve Angel Savage giving you some love today.